This 50,000 square foot commercial property in Palm Bay will soon fill the air with a sound that is becoming more common here. We're all ears if any manufacturer wants to relocate their business in Brevard County. Uh. Firearms manufacturer IO Incorporated, which builds this AK-47 assault rifle, announced today they are relocating their North Carolina manufacturing facility to Palm Bay. Leaders here are touting the benefits of 53 more high-paying jobs to an area decimated by job losses. We have the workforce and we can build um, items that are legal and constitutionally legal. But IO Inc. is just the latest to join what economic leaders here call a fast-growing firearms cluster in Brevard. So this is our lightweight precision rifle. All this Knight's Armament in Titusville also manufactures high-powered assault rifles, as does Diamondback Firearms in Coco. Their nearly next-door neighbors at Keltec do the same, building automatic weapons and handguns. None return calls for comment. Most of their talking is done through powerful and influential gun lobbyists on Capitol Hill. And we knew that there'd be powerful voices that would do everything they could to run out the clock. Four months after the Newtown massacre, the president of the United States is trying to counter gun lobbyists with public support for his gun control legislation. He wants a renewed ban on certain semi-automatic weapons made here and new limits on high-capacity clips. The type of assault rifle used in Aurora, for example, when paired with a high-capacity magazine, has one purpose to pump out as many bullets as possible, as fast as possible. Meanwhile, in Brevard, it's jobs that matter in this growing and perfectly legal industry. So the county will welcome another assault rifle manufacturer and maybe more. So your message to, to the gun manufacturers out there who, who are looking for you? Hey, if you want to come to Brevard County, give me a call. We'll uh, go ahead and set up an appointment with us in the Economic Development Commission. In Palm Bay, Daryl Nail, Fox 35 News.